another update the last update was exactly a week ago and now another one has arrived which is version 1.7.11 you were right though though the birdie give this user a clap that was awkward anyway let's continue so the update was released a week after the last update does this mean we're gonna have weekly updates like the ones on sneak peek sundays uh, maybe at least we're getting updates often just minor ones if there's a sneak peek after this the next update will probably be version 1.10.12 and the future will tell us anytime Hello, I'm Janeda and we'll be reviewing the recent update as of recording this video. Without further ado, let's start. Here's the patch notes for the version 1.10.11. It is very similar with the last update but now we got these 3 trains upgraded to mesh, which are class 165, class 1651, and class 166. But these trains were pretty much identical. The networker I mean, the class 465 is also identical to class 165's and 166. However, it wasn't included and meshed with this update. I'm wondering what this train will look and sound like once this train has been upgraded. Because right now, it's... Yeah, it's pretty much inaccurate, I must say. But we expect all trains to be meshed in the future updates such as the class 321, 465, 158, 508, and 319. Yeah, I know I haven't bought some trains because I'm lazy buying it. Speaking of buying trains, I will now purchase the newly meshed trains and try these out. Before I proceed though, we also got some very senior fixes for this update. Which we don't really know what was fixed but that's good I guess. And I hope they fixed this bug where the classic state doors were open while traveling. I will consider this as a normal day in SCR. Also right after the update was released, users were stuck in teleporting up as they joined the game making it entirely unplayable. So I guess we have the version 1.7.11 bug already but this was eventually fixed the time when I was asleep. And yeah that's that's the update. Here's a quick look of a sneak peek before the update containing the class 1651. It is already looking good. Also, why does this train number has displayed 168200 while I have class 166 selected? That's weird. Anyways, with this out of the way, let's drive now. I will be driving the class 1651 which is a double unit train. And here it is, the class 165. As expected, these trains look so detailed considering that I haven't tried the old class 165s or 166. I don't have much to say about this except it looks detailed and realistic for the exterior. I think we get a new side as well, nice to hear that. Now let's take a look inside the cab. Wow, these mesh trains are just insane, especially the cab here. It just looks so realistic nowadays. We have the aircon on the ceiling, we have the fire extinguisher on my right, we have the telephone and many controls on our front. Pretty much everything. Let's open the door soon. The door animations for the plug type doors looks different now compared to other transfer first. It slides a bit to the front and then it slides away from each other. But for this train, they slide quickly now, making the animation very smooth and realistic. We can also notice a bit of door bouncing as the door was open. That's pretty much it for the cab and the exterior. Now we will take a look inside the train as a passenger. I guess I'm gonna find one in a public server. Looks like we're taking the class 1651 again. Coaches. 
Interesting. We have the CCTV camera now. I bet the driver is currently stalking to us. Just kidding, it was obviously for operations. And it was a nice addition to it. Here's the display sign. The text is scaled out, it fills up the black background with the text basically. Another interesting thing I noticed is there are three seats on one of the side now. Does it fit two persons in there? I have no idea but you can try it and let me know in the comments. Oh, the dispatcher whistles. Let's see the door closing from inside. And now I am seated. See you on the next station. The door animation is just so smooth. I really liked it. Let's go to the other unit this time. I can go inside the restroom and hide here. My umbrella doesn't fit, of course. We're also having dispatchers present on waterline stations now. Due to some of the waterline trains being upgraded, which ends up having a baseline for waterline. That was a nice reason there. Overall, it's great to have another upgrade. Everything looks detailed and realistic. I noticed that they were publishing the update one by one. I think this is to maintain the active player counts for the game. I'm not quite sure. It's nice to have updates often now, but most people are probably waiting for the next major update which is version 1.11. The future is on their hands, so all we have to do is wait. And that's it for this review. What do you think with this update? Let us know in the comments. We are so close to hitting 500 subscribers as of recording this video. And you can let this happen by subscribing so we can hit our milestone. Don't forget to like the video as well. Thank you so much. And see you guys next time. Goodbye.